Hey, welcome to the Jetty Jet Show Live. What's up, everybody? What is going on? It's kind of late. How's everybody doing? Still shows that it's counting down for me. Should have started. Started? Um, um uh, let's see here. Hold on a sec. So close this. Yeah, streaming time. Do you want to post wrong button? Yep, I am live. Hey, what's up, everyone? Can everybody hear me okay? Does everybody have their water? Do they have their sketch pads? Do you guys have your Halloween candy? What's up? How's everyone doing? Now I gotta wait for 20 seconds before you guys respond. Anyways, today it's gonna be a really special show. We're gonna be doing, um, well, we're just gonna take it easy, just draw, hang out, talk. I got a lot of stuff to let off my chest. Some big news. I'm kind of nervous, actually. Some big, big news. Um,. I always get kind of nervous when starting a show because I don't get any kind of like responses right away and it's hard to, to, I don't know, I'm just worried about what you guys are thinking. So I'm just like, am I doing okay? Am I, am I? Anyways, look at the drawing. Here's, here's uh, something that I'm working on right now. And um, basically it's, um, it's from Element Princess. I'll be doing a poster. Um, I'm going to compile all the characters together and basically this is for our Kickstarter project, that, which we are launching tomorrow, and, and um, the video for the Kickstarter is actually going to be launched tonight, just to get some steam rolling, some momentum, and you guys will be able to watch that. But um, basically, um, we're going to offer rewards, and as part of the rewards, we're going to offer a, a poster along with a lot of other things like prints, uh, the book itself, and all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's what I have for you guys today. And these are just some sketches that I, I worked out um, based on an idea, basically, for all the girls gathered um, in the town. They're, the town um, is basically ravaged by demons and it's been destroyed and all the girls are basically looking onward for like um looking onward in a in a battle kind of situation you know um preparing for for a fight or maybe maybe they're tense kind of uh their spirits are broken and they're getting ready to fight so in this situation here you'll they're basically uh the sunlight's kind of it's probably uh evening Sunset-ish, and the lights kind of casting this way, and the shadows cast this way. Yeah, so based off the same kind of composition over and over, I'm trying to fit everybody in there. Um, but I think we're not going to be going with that. It's, it's for a poster. I wanna, we want to show all the characters, and that was just one of the ideas. Another idea was basically they are walking towards us and having the town kind of um, destroyed in, in in ruins in the background with smoke and debris um, in a kind of a dark atmosphere. But they're they 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 they've all got like a determined look, like they're gonna kick some ass. Okay, so no, not storyboards. Um, it's not an anime. Okay, let me just scroll over you guys. Okay, so. Uh, scared the balls out of me. Yeah, he. Oh, God, I forgot the computer it was on. Didn't know where this come from. Yeah. You getting married? No. <laughs> I'm having a baby. <laughs> no. We're here. I thought that too. Can you start making an anime visual novel? No, not, not a, not a graphic novel. But a, um or the release of the, the novel that we have 
and yeah why not why not um release the video now like, I think that's a good time so yeah let's we can watch it together I guess yeah and then I'll have the link it'll be linked on the channel you know it'll come up as a new video so um we'll, but we'll watch it together okay so The only problem with this is um, the light, the uh, the sound will be will be off. Um, so I'm, I don't know. Maybe sh maybe I shouldn't stream it through this thing a thing here. Yeah, no, I'll I'll leave it. I'll leave that for you guys. Um, after this video is over, we're gonna try to run this show for about. An hour and a half, or until we get enough good ideas um, made, we're gonna sketch out some more ideas. Probably, probably rough in the characters into the poster. But uh, our plan is to basically launch tomorrow in the morning. Um, it's a little late today, but we didn't want to get in the way of anyone's parties. You know, it's a Saturday, and yesterday was was Halloween. Yeah, was it Halloween yesterday? Well, it was Friday. We just, you know what I mean? It's Friday. People were kind of busy. So we wanted to save that, the launch, the actual launch of the Kickstarter for tomorrow and just the, the video. But I can give you guys a little preview. A little preview. Yeah, it sounds catchy. It's it's by Vivo, my, my close buddy and friend. Uh, we grew up together and he makes the music and I use him. And I try my best to help him out, but I'll have that link for his stuff in the link description below. But uh, here we go. Check out um the trailer. Um, I'm just gonna expand it a little bit. Yeah, so this is set to private. Um. I can't, I can't get the whole screen. I have to, uh, let me rescale this, this screen here for you guys to see the whole screen. Okay, you guys can see the whole screen. And I'm just gonna play a little bit for you guys. Compelling and highly engaging, Element Princess shares the mystical journey of courage, bravery, and hope. Written by author Janae Williams, this new book presents the journey of seven young women who fight for their survival despite times of adversity. In this work, readers will uncover a myriad of eye-opening insights about the differences between good and evil. Set in an imaginary town located a few hours from Tokyo, Elder Princess presents the virtues of justice and peace while fighting against the forces of evil. The Elder Princesses are young women possessing godly abilities each woman possesses one of the seven elemental orbs. Kenta Shiroyama, a spirit being, is keeper of these orbs. He understands the power of the orbs hold and plans to accomplish the ultimate goal of fighting these seven young ladies. The Demon Docs are an underworld organization housing more than 10,000 demons and counting. The Docs' leader, Derek Southbound, is a demon lord holding order while his officers, demonic princesses and princes, set out and search for the beings who are the resurrected element controllers. Derek's plan is definite, destroy the human race. But together, Kenta and his seven princesses will stand up against the dark forces, face off with Derek's officers, and discover what it truly means to stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just the first part of it, and I'll have that available shortly. And um, you guys can watch it anytime but it's basically the intro to our Kickstarter campaign project yeah so that's that and let me just make that public right now let's make it public
we go. Public. And share. There, it's final. It's public. Oops, wrong one. Ah! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I made the wrong one public. There's two of them. One of them is the character's breakdown, and that'll be public later. Um, the actual Kickstarter trailer will be the one that will be public now. So let's get right into it. How do I brainstorm and how do I come up with ideas for a poster? Um, let's see here. I want to make sure you guys. Thanks, bro. It really means a lot. Can't stress that enough. Can't express that enough. Uh huh. Uh huh. First thing is not to get so caught up with the details. Of course. First and foremost, composition. I I'm I'm going to do a a landscape because. I wanted to fit all the characters in. All right, and I'm getting a little, a little complicated with that box. You can make it kind of. You don't have to make it all straight. You can do it rough if you like. And I'm using a paintbrush, which is it's making it kind of slow. I need to curve it a little bit. Makes it easier. This is a lot more, um, a lot less static. Uh, there's more movement in that box. There's just more energy, so... But either way it works. If you want it to be more, um... More specific, you would do like more a hard edge like that, or more straight. Alright, so... I'm gonna zoom in here. How many characters do we have? We have eight total characters. One guy. His name is Kenta. Um, oh, the Element Princess character video is live. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's because you have your window open. If you res um, here's the deal. If you have the link, it's unlisted. So if you have the link, you will have the link forever. It's just not public. Um, as for the, uh, I I set it back to to private. I mean, um, unlisted. So. Should <laughs> I got 10 views on there already? Or oh, 10? Yeah, 10 views. Um, yeah. Um, is that right? Oh, it is public. Hey. It's unlisted now. Don't look at it. <laughs> but look, if you have the, if you guys have the link, it's it's yours. Um, it just it just breaks down all the characters for you. And I felt like if we were to introduce the character a little bit after the the project is uh, launched, that would be a better kind of strategy to introduce the characters. A material as you go kind of deal. But I think that video is available as well on. The Kickstarter page, but anyways, thanks. W S Clow, not 1945. All right, before we waste any more time, let's let's build this poster. First of all, uh, I'm just gonna composition is basically just laying out the characters. You don't even have to worry about. Um, you don't have to worry about poses. You don't have to worry about anatomy. Simple shapes can work. <clears throat> That's six. Oh, it's gonna be a crowded. It's gonna be a crowded poster. Eight. All right. So if everybody's standing there like that. So yeah, the the purpose of a composition is just to convey your idea. Get everything down. We know that there's eight. We know that they're all standing streamed across like that. 
<laughs> yeah, Rukasu. It's yours. Run! Run with it! Share it with your family. <laughs> there, it's it's done. We got the composition. Does that make sense? That is composition. We literally had exercise in art school. This is something what we did. Where all we did was basically drew like random kind of abstract shapes and colors. Um just just randomly to um, learn how to build composition and focus you know where is the eye leading kind of deal and patterns but they're just shapes and it's very abstract and you can you can get it you can let me just turn on my music it's a little loud um, you can get a lot of information down just by by conveying shapes obviously we have eight separate shapes. We got a tall one in the middle. Um, I'll have to look at the height of all the characters again, but that's okay. If we draw the characters separately, we can uh, enlarge their scale and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Um, oh, inspirations. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's let's pull up some inspirations. I want to pull it up on here on the side. Just for some security reasons, I do have I do have references, um, but again, I, right now I'm not really fussing with that. I'm just really focused on on drawing the picture. But oh boy, do I have references! I have tons and tons of. Um, every project I start, I. I start with uh, a good set of references that will guide me kind of along the way. Uh, action poses, action poses. Ah, for example, this is good. Um, so collecting your resources, your references before you start. This would be my uh, my my. This is not my drawing. Uh, action poses references. So. For whatever project I was working on, I collected these. Oops. Yeah, so. I like these poses. And. Odin's here, I guess. Um. So, yeah, just a bunch of different poses. Um, this project, I don't remember what it was for, but there's there's a folder for every project. I got I got one just for colors, color keys. Um, I got one for anatomy, one for pinups, the ones for posters. I'm trying to find that one. Poster. Set. Just showing you guys stuff this whole time. Yeah, let's just focus. Let's just focus. Let's just focus. That's why I gotta have this stuff ready before I start. Scumbag Jet forgot to reserve his skin. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, man, come on. Ah. I'm gonna resize it. Uh. <laughs> I'm a scumbag for that. What the heck? Where's the. Show mouse. No, I don't want the full screen. Sizable. What the heck? This ain't gonna work.
Where's the... Where's the... I can't find the scaler. Uh, it's gonna be full screen. This is what we're gonna do. Because I can't find the rescaling thingy thing, and that's fine. Alright, so eight characters. Uh, another one, we're gonna try a little more dynamic. Um, maybe have them all kind of at an angle. Like this. You see? You see? We're looking downish. And I'm able to convey that message just quickly. I'm not. So. That would be kind of cool. Camera facing down. Wow. Uh, um, you don't want to crowd anyone out, though, of course. This poster will be offered as a reward. Yes, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're a bit crowded, so. 8 characters is a lot to pick. It. So we may have to do some overlapping. Let's try again. Let's try again. Yeah, and as for inspiration uh, for the posters, I just collect um, group pictures. Group pictures, a lot of group pictures for, from other artists. <sighs> um, yeah, first world problems. I can't find the resizable thing. It's just not, I just, there's, it just won't show. Uh, first world world problems. Um, let's, let's try to overlap these guys. Let's see what happens. Actually, I wanted the background. So the background, I want some like crawl, 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 crushed up, crumpled. So that's the background kind of destroyed. That says destroyed background. Does it not? And then we can have them kind of kind of just chilling on them. Chilling. Uh oh, here he goes with the anatomy. This thing is, um, uh, how do you say crooked? We're gonna find something that we like, alright? We are. Now, two. Three. Four. <laughs> it's getting filled up quickly. <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? There. Bow. Done. I'm starting to like this already. <laughs> From behind. Over the shoulder. Bow. Oh, crossed arms. See? You get you get inspired as you go. But that cool pose. Bow. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We gotta flip it to see if it's balanced. It's, yeah, they're all kind of just slanted. <laughs> Hey, 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 even I make mistakes, you see, you see, I'm very right-brained, okay, sorry. 
Sorry. I've been cursed with this right brain. Seriously. Um, one of my art classes, uh, I, one of these classes I took from City College, they actually had a, a, a right brain, left brain test. And I scored 95% right brain. I kid you not, out of all the questions. And the, the whole class was averaging, you know, 60 to 40, you know, somewhere around the middle. And I'm just like a freak. A lot of things that um, qualify you is like you get bewildered and you get like overwhelmed by, say, for example, you're looking at a bookshelf or you walk into a store and you get, and there's a lot of stuff, just a lot of things like that. Um, the way you do things, the way you, the way, like the order in which you do things, how you focus, how you speak, a lot of ADD stuff. Um, yeah, and I, talking has, ne has was never my strong point, which was the, one of the main reasons why I decided to do YouTube was because I, I had a I had a problem, you see, and that was that was public speaking. Really, I had a problem. Like in class, I would be so freaking nervous. I, I was the worst. Yeah, I was ninety five percent right brain dead. Brain dead. <laughs> But I couldn't speak worth doo doo. Took a lot of energy out of me, really. But in social, you know, in social environments, if I'm just hanging out with my friends, I can talk, I can hang out. I'm, I'm a regular person. But if it's public with the group and you're presenting your your stuff, woo! People would like kind of my friends would be in the background, kind of like making jokes and faces, so to try to try to loosen me up. But I'm just like, ain't happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a little secret, a little secret. And I, I don't know what it was. I just, I just broke every time. I was broken to the point where I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. I'm just, um, the. Um, and that, that's what I would say. And yeah. <laughs> um, there were some successful moments, but those were rehearsed, like rehearsed and rehearsed. And I memorized every single line, and that was my way of. Uh, that was once. I was pretty happy, proud of myself. But it, it never, it was never very natural. You know? Unless I get feedback. Unless I get some sort of feedback that. That I'm not making a fool of myself, then I can, I can, uh, unless I, unless I get that, then I'm broken. So for example, I'm getting feedback. I can, I can, I can see what you guys are saying. Um, yeah. But I just tangent, tangent, tangent. Arm here. Hips, hips thrusted forward, chest out. You know what I'm saying? You feel? You dig? So, yeah, speaking was not one of my strong points. And I said, YouTube, please save me. If you guys go back to like one of my first posts that I ever made, I was, my goodness. It was painful. Just recording it was painful. I would redo my lines over and over and over and over because I couldn't say it right. I was just, um, yeah, terrified. Weird, huh? But I got better. And I'm getting better. Just trying to be more comfortable with myself. She's sitting down. Why is she sitting down? The town destroyed. Did they destroy it? Were they the culprit? Why are they so lax? They got the same poses. That's not gonna work. And this one, they're too, she's she's too she's too crowded. Too crowded. 
Now we're gonna do another one where they're actually gonna be kind of free floating, kind of action posy. Gotta make them smaller. If they're if they're that high, they are in perspective. And yeah. <laughs> they're they're too balanced. Too equal. Vocaloid Battle Sis? This song here, my friend, is another song created by my buddy Bebo. That's right, all originals. So I guess these poses would be kind of just, hey, I'm cool. Look at us, we're cool. We're so bad. Huh. Your town is destroyed. Yes, their town is destroyed. And they're just chilling. Ooh. But it would be a pretty cool poster. Straightforward. Let me let me show you guys a little uh little thing thing. Thing, thing, little poster, uh, rough trap thing I did for uh, one of my jobs, one of my clients, one of my, yeah, one of my jobs. Condition sketching. Condition cover. Yeah, okay, so this would be a good example. For example, this is for an actual manga for a company that I'm working for. Uh, I was working on the cover. As you can see, they're pretty pretty basic. Pretty basic. Uh, the, fi the final piece looks a little bit something like something like this so just to give you guys an, an idea of how something so rough can become finished so if, uh, if I can pull back that old one yeah uh, we want the, this one here there it is. Ta-da. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's not the one I was trying to show you. The one I was trying to show you guys... Oh, uh, not that one either. Oh, maybe I have it in here. Hold on a sec. 
Maybe it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. So I, I, I don't know where I put the rough, but this drawing, I guess it would be considered a group pose, but uh, it's supposed to be the background layout for the, uh, the website, so the words would be in the front. The pages would be scrolling here, and the characters would be on the side. Just another example, but I'm just trying to find the rough draft for that. Where is it at? Where it's at? Condition cover. And I've not posted any of that stuff up. But I am allowed to show you guys. That's kind of how my brain works. It's kind of how everyone's brain works. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Anyways, I'm slowing up time again. One last thing. Here's a piece that I was working on. A personal piece, finally. I don't do very many of those. But uh, I might do a character breakdown later on this. But we gotta focus. Not a character breakdown, but a, a drawing breakdown. Just to show you guys how... How it is... That I drew that. Alright, so there it is. Option number three. Huh. These guys don't have any kind of um, detail to show you guys a fair comparison. Let's start with the heads. This is pretty random. Do you have any advice on getting into an art college? Probably the wrong time to ask this. Alright, good. No, oh, perfect. Conversation. That's what we're here for talk. Um, getting started. Well, the school that I went to was private and they accepted anybody. Bottom line was, pay them. <laughs> um, and fend for yourself afterwards, by the way. But a lot of the great art schools require portfolios and are a little more expensive actually. But art Art Academy was still deadly expensive. Um, if you were to go straight out of high school without completing any kind of transferable courses from the city college, it would have costed, I think, roughly one hundred and twenty thousand. All right, and that's not including the interest you have to pay because you, if you owe one twenty, you will end up paying if you don't pay it within like five years. And you pay within like for example the span of 25 years you would end up paying probably three hundred thousand dollars all right for for school for art schooling yeah yeah sure everybody has that money anyone can do it I borrowed all, all that money and oh boy I'm paying but luckily I was I was a little more I took a little more time I didn't go straight out of high school start with City College um, so I transferred over, I think, 30, 35, 36 units, and each unit is about $800. Was it worth it in the end? Oh, that's another story. <laughs> but you can definitely go. You can definitely learn a lot, but there are so many other options, so many other options. Now, um, the internet is a great resource, a lot of free stuff on there. But you don't want to underestimate the value of a good art instructor. Yeah? Someone to review your work, someone to critique, and one-on-one -on -one lessons and stuff like that. And that's really probably the thing that makes it all worthwhile. Um, uh, Also the discipline, the discipline, because you have people to, you have to, 
people to compete against. Um, you have homework assignments that you have to meet. Uh, so the Art Academy in San Francisco, um, you can get in for without like without a portfolio or anything like that. Just go. Just say, hey, uh, I want to enroll and I want to borrow some money or I want to pay it off. I can pay it off. I'm rich. My family are doing okay. Um, you can do that. And there's nothing wrong with it. Nah. But do it first and foremost, foremost, because you have a passion for it, not for the money. Nah. Mm -hmm. Because we get, let me tell you something. The cost does not. The 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 the, the jobs are not as wor worth as much as the cost. You know what I mean? Like. It costs as much as law school students, as much as doctors, but it's so difficult getting getting off your feet and actually working in the field. And all it also depends on what kind of what 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 field you're getting into, 3D and uh, 3D and modeling, 3D modeling and stuff like that, all the technical stuff. Uh, there's a lot more work for that, but even that, it's 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 difficult. It's very difficult. You just got to be really good. Yeah. You just got to be really good and impress people. Um. But I've just been doing freelancing. And it's been pretty good, and I and I and I found a, I found a path for, for myself. I'm not I'm not so much for working for a company or a corporation and stuff, which which is fine. Um, I, I mean, eventually I might depends. Um, but right now I feel like taking my own road, doing my own thing. Uh, try to build up my own my own little. Um, company I wasn't born in 94.5 that was what you were thinking I I'm in uni at the moment studying interactive system and games alright so Uni as in university, right? Uni, uni. I think that's what you're talking about. So that's another one. Straightforward. Yeah. Straightforward kind of standing poses. Flip it. See, see what happens when I flip it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird, isn't it? You don't, I can't see it. I can't see it. I try to see it. I try to meditate on it, but it's hard. I, I don't know what it is. But that's okay. And if you don't have a digital software where you can flip things, put it up to a mirror. Put it up to a mirror. And you shall see. That's how the masters did it in the old days. And in fact, that's how people do it today still. I think you guys need a face this way as well. Too many of those that way. A little bend there. And this is all kind of just um gestural. These are these are gestures. bear. Uh, one of the characters is a boy. He's like six feet two, 
three inches. So now this is Manga Studio. Hey, thanks for Kasu. Let's uh, what's up? Oh my God! Hi, release How you doing? How you doing? We're gonna check out uh, we're gonna check out what Rikasu has put for us. He said, Bokaloid City. Bokaloid City on Zero Chan. Zero Chan dot net. Alright. Alright, that's what I'm looking at. Zero Chan, to which one are we talking about here? Oh, I like this. I like this. I like this thingy here. It's kind of cool. Hey, these are kind of cool. Is that what we're talking about? Is this what we're. Zero Chan? Vocaloid City? City. Please, no dirty ads. Oh, this is, yeah, yeah, this is cool. You know what? This is really good. Oh, man. Shoot! All right. All right, cool. I like that. I like that. We'll see what we can do. This is not EX. This is the debut version. That's all you need. Everything you need, my babies. I like that. Uh, let's give this artist credit. Sure, we have credit for this guy. Um, dude's name, artist. Uh, the entry was by Moon Elf three thirteen. Um, that's a problem with these things. It's hard to find the artist who did who do these. Who do who do these? Oh yeah, the pff, the banner, the freaking banner is the same picture. I'm oh, like, wait a second, this is so similar to something I've seen. But, um. Yeah. So that would be a lot better than this kind of static, static straight on. Where are we? Where are we? Alright. I'll use that as reference. Alright. Next one coming up. How about this? Let's try to let's try something like that. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Oh man. My retarded lines. So this is what we have here. Pretty cool, pretty dynamic. Busted city. Kind of looking upward. Alright. Let's try it out. This side or this side? This side. Eight characters, man. Hard. Come on, man. Skirt. Now. The town has been destroyed. 
They can't look happy. They can't look. They can't look like. Oh my god. I mean, they can't be like. Oh ho, hooray. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I guess what I'm saying is they can't be like super posy. Like everything is okay. Okay, 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 watch this. Alright, head there. Head here. Head here. Big head here. One, two, three, five. Oh, this is hard. It's hard. Maybe one here. Six. Can we keep going? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So this is another method. You see? You see, being being a good artist is not so much um, skill. <laughs> I mean, it's partly skill, but a big part of being a good artist is how do you simplify and break break things down? How do you vi how do you visualize things? And how do you slow down a computer? A good way. Close, because everybody's kind of equal distance. One, um, and this should be a figure here, 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 back here. That would be like kind of standing over there by myself. Oh, I know. Here, bow. All right. Maybe back here. Because that person is so cool. They're way off to the distance. There's a tangent. I'm standing on his, her head. Oh. Tangent. We don't want that tangent. We want it. We want it all or nothing. But I want some detail, so put it too much in the center. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? You guys seeing what I'm seeing? This person's hair is gonna get in the way of, of course. it up now this is what's going on it looks like they're going up that way and out of the canvas so what was I saying simplify simplify your thoughts simplify an idea They're looking a little posy here. Mm -hmm. now I keep ending up with that balance thing. Let's flip it. Let's flip it. Maybe we'll find. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Flipping. Good. Um, I guess they would be posing if they're all kind of like that. Doesn't look very threatening at all. And everything's slowing down. Yeah, Yahako. 
Better than Mono Suited 4? After a while, yeah, it is. I think so. Make sure it's at its best speed here. Alright, let's try to select the captured area again. It's really slow. Oh! <laughs> hey! It's back! Maybe this will help. Let's try it. Yeah! Yeah, it's better. Yeah, yay! Awesome. Is it better than part four? I uh, I think so, but it changes everything. It actually does. It changes a lot of things, but then I think it's worth it. They keep changing things on you. Let's see here in the poster we have. We don't have anyone sitting. That's pretty cool. Nobody's sitting. I like that. No one's sitting because they're all ready to go. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to figure out how can we do this without having anyone sitting. Yeah, I think one of the problems that I'm facing right now is while well, they look kind of confident, they look kind of kind of too confident. Maybe no, that one's good there. Staggered. Going through. That made sense now, see? person in the front is like got his fist her fist okay here's another here's another thing okay which one came first the arm or the fist chicken or the egg getting the arm out and then the fist that works but composition of the fist is what's most important where does the where's the fist end up in the end all right, we want it to convey just where the fist is. What are the extension of the fist in the arm? And that is secondary. So, I'm thinking this person needs to be a little more hunched over. Hunched over this, this here line is the back of the shoulders. Hunching over fist right here connect the fist to the arm Grrr. how dare you yeah I like that let's let's pull it out this way a little bit give some space here cramping up a little bit 
That works. Hmm. One of the girls takes care takes care of the other girls. I figure out who that is. But we don't need to we don't need to go find out. It can just be in the pose. It can just be in the pose. Uh, what I was just saying was, this person looked like they were touching the person's shoulder. They're around the same scale. He's like, oh no, where am I, where am I going? Oh, what's gonna happen to us now? Damien's is coming. Time to flame on, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, I think everyone needs to clench their fists. Everyone clench your fists. Clench it. Do 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 do. do. This this group here seems a little bit a little separate separated from this group here. So let's let's move them in a little bit. Move them in a little bit. Is this making sense to you guys? Trying to explain my thought process. This person here looks like they're just holding a a, a, a mug, drinking some warm coffee, mm. scratching the stomach. What's going on, guys? What are we doing today? Because that that. That chest, that chest popping upward like that, looks a little relaxed. We're here to fight, understand? We're here to fight. Yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! When you accomplish something in life, continue with a victory dance. Victory dance. Yes, it is recommended. Victory dance followed following successful moments. Is permitted. This person's too centered, but maybe, maybe that's that's Kenta. Kenta, he's the spirit guardian, guardian. Uh, running this show, he's like, "Hey, girls, time to go fight." <laughs> I won't even say it. I won't go there. That's stupid. But he was, he was a little centered. I was thinking about making that him, him Kenta right there. But no, I don't think so anymore. That looks good like that. I don't want to add Kenta. Looks retarded. Start off with the head. Start off with the head. Simplify it. Start off with the head. Yes.
how would he how would his reaction be? I like this guy's I like this guy's posture. This guy right here. Him. This man. I don't even know what what story this is. Oh Vocaloid. Duh. Vocaloid, yeah. Um the uh the 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 synthesizing software would turn turned anime. I'm guessing. Um, yes, not guessing. I think that's the case. Yes, I am guessing because I am thinking. So he's like, yeah, she yeah. And he's got a cigarette. No. No cigarettes. Put him there for now. All right, I think that kind of does it for the setup. We will add in some poses. Um, something about about this person here. Thumbs up. Crossed it arms. Crossed it arms. Okay. Head down. Head headed down it. That's tense. That's a big head. It'll all make sense. Trust. It's all in the composition. It's all we're doing now. Shoulder doesn't need to go over the head, I don't think, in this one. Because um, I think we're not looking so far down. Like, we're not looking from above down. Uh, because we can see the people in the background like that. For example, if you were to... look down at something the, the the horizon line would be higher up and you would see things more circular but if you're looking more up at things then you would have the horizon line lower and if you were at straight on you get the picture <laughs> Uh, melody's a little, a little erratic. I can't really follow. Flip. Flip and a dip. I wish I could be this relaxed when I'm doing my videos, recordings. Um, but no, it has to be a little more professional because you don't know who's going to be watching it. Uh, live, live is a little more, a little more personal, a little more just relaxed. Um, I don't have a script for this. I can't. How can you? Oops, oops, oops. All right. Um, Kenta, I believe, looking a little crowded over there. Let's not erase him. Let's just flip him. Grab, grab the dude. The dude. Flip him around. Shrink him a bit. It's up here. Shrink him a little more. Like more. Like that.
Him and Ayano are going to be the ringleaders. So... I think she needs to cross her hands. Because him and her are in charge. It's this countering balance, countering of weights. Uh, this person doesn't cross her hands. How about this? More head on. Yeah. More Dragon Ball Z. My greatest influence. More Dragon Ball Z. You see what I'm talking about? Clenched fists here. Um, this person's this person's arm is a little weird. Okay. Um, something about it. Something about it. Maybe the foreground isn't strong enough. Foreground. I think Kenna should be on the other side again. Yeah. Because, okay, because, look, Ayano is facing this way, okay, and she's the leader, and then Kenta is the other way, he's the leader, okay? Alright. I think that'll do it for that there. So this is what we have. Right? what we got let's keep it fair I'm just gonna just gonna read over your comments really quick um, make sure we all have we're all in agree ENCs oh man 426 go to sleep yeah man good night um Better than Among Us 3 before, Guy called Yahako made it. You work on PC or Mac? Mac, of course. Ooh, Kasu got it. What's the most difficult thing to draw for you? Wow, one hour passed so fast. Is this story about a bunch of posers? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a story about posers. They pose for a living. What are they? What are they angry about? They're sitting, crossed arms like a boss. Let's talk. <laughs> What's your favorite band? All right. First of all, um, what's the most difficult thing to draw? Let me tell you what that is. Um, hands, hands. Uh, above all, hands, hands, and let's see, color. Color is, is difficult for me. And, um. Buildings. Buildings. I don't have very many buildings. We'll have a broken building in this one, so it'll be. It should be okay. Uh, what's my favorite band? Oh man, I had, I had the answer for this one. I had the answer for this one. It was ready. It was ready. Um. I know, I know who it is. Alright, and I listen to them. 
and I like them. Um, shoot. Okay, if it comes to me, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, they're they're angry about their city and their town, man. They got destroyed. An army of demons came in and destroyed it. I would be a little angry. I don't know, but that's that's just me. I'd be a little angry. Would you? I would. Would you? Yeah, I would. I would. Would I? Yeah. Posing time again. I like a lot of music. Um, Big Bang. Big Bang. The Korean uh, pop, hip-hop group. They do a bit of everything. Especially like their soul. Their melodic stuff. I like orange caramel. I like AOA. Um, you know AOA, brand new Ace of Angels. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. We check them out. AOA. A O A Moya. Moya. And then G Min is my favorite. She's like a she's like a living anime character. G Min. Jinan. That's right. I'm promoting AOA. Hopefully they'll uh they'll notice me. Pull out a little a picture of Mo of G Min. G Min. And their music is really good. Really good. This is her from her music video. <laughs> yeah, she's a cutie. Oh yeah, this is uh, her doing a forgot which which music video, but they all take on a uh, character from like cult cult classic uh, movies from the West. They all they all I forgot which story that one's from. Um, it has like a hitman, and there's like a, a little girl who who basically does the, the hit. I don't know I'm, I didn't watch it actually, but I. Something about that. Anyways. The egoist. Um Yeah, I can't play. I'd love to play the music. I would love to But um I keep getting hit by the copyright bug. That's right. They 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 ban my video whenever I play music. It's doo doo. I got away with some of the music that I played in some of my videos. Surprising. That was before I knew about the copyright thing. And I mean, I, of course, I know about copyright, but I didn't realize it was being enforced. So strictly until recently, because the music that I played didn't affect the video at all. So I, I, you can get away with some music, but some you can't. So okay, 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 guys. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, wow, it's already been an hour and a half. Insane. Insane. Um, I love. I just love music in general. You know, I just love music. Music is my life. 
one of my one of my greatest hobbies is singing actually as some of you may already know I enjoy singing I enjoy a little bit of YouTube karaoke and when nobody's home I just you know and yeah it gets a lot of stress out I'm just singing make me feel good It used to be my dream to uh, to be like a famous pop star. I wanted to be famous and sing. So I, I joined a, a boy band and we sang for a while. And we were pretty good. We were pretty good. Um, one of us actually became pretty famous. Yes, sir. But we will talk about that some other time. BTS? I know BTS. Yeah. No, no, not that, not that singing. Hey, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, we did. We did As Long As You Love Me by Backstreet Boys, JPKS. We used to live in the same apartment. We all went to sleep, I mean sleep. <laughs> we all went to school. Yes, we all went to sleep in the same apartment. That's what happened. Um, and we all went to school in the Bay Area. Um, we finally, we all went to high school together too, but we, we, we finally did a cover for As Long As You Love Me, and that's still up on YouTube. You love me. If you guys want to go check that out. Um, it was some good fun. We all grew up and we all did our own things. The S, the S surprisingly got, became famous. He became famous. Steven. Silva. He's got 200,000 Twitter followers. He's a big celebrity in the Philippines. He made it in the uh, Filipino Idol. So this guy, he he became a uh, uh, sociologist. He went to medical school, and then he went to become a pastor, and I went to become an artist. And that's the story. And we're all apart. We're all split up. But we have each other in each other's hearts. Forever. And ever. Anyways. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna pour dips, pen, and ink bottle, and then the ink falls off manuscript prize in bed. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, what's that? What's this video? This video hurt. Oh, don't tell me. Are you... Did you post up the video? Is this the video? Let's see. Leave this page. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that one, that one's mom. It did hurt. Hey. Yeah, I might do another one too. Don't make me. <laughs> oops, 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 All right. So you guys have a preference of which one? Um, I, I think I would go with this one, number four, just because it's more dynamic, more action packed. What do you guys think? What do you think? This will be the poster that will be going out to you guys eventually. As part of the reward or pledging. So we'll uh we'll take that. We'll take probably that is the one I'm gonna go with. If 
you guys will start saying something um, soon, and I will flesh out the, the poses a little bit. Just a little bit, and then we'll call it a night. We'll call it a night. Wow, I got 54 views on the characters. It's still, it must be still public. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm getting a little too excited to literally hope I'm up and down on my channel to get out of this. It's pretty generic, but I'll have a look to see it. <laughs> Looks pretty generic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'm serious guy. Uh, talk about the meaning of a troll, man. But hey, I like I like you because you know what? You're here, you're with us, you're Yeah, you're contributing to the community with your input. Um, awesome. Number four. Thanks. Thanks, Red. Hey, Red. You knew what I was talking about from the beginning. I actually didn't know what you wrote. Number four? Is that a song? I was like, what is that? Um, Alright, cool. Number four. Let's do it. So, first of all, I'm going to last of that. Copy it. Um, I'm going to take that, and I will be enlarging it so first thing is that now we're still in the rough stage as I always say in my videos um, it doesn't have to be too much bigger when you're roughing in the, the rough draft um, um, I'm not gonna draw the characters separately no I'm not. Um, it's gonna save me a lot more time to just sketch them all the way they are like this but we will be fleshing out their anatomy and structure a bit more. So, um, this character here needs to move a little bit, oops, a little bit to the right. It's a bit cramped. It's a bit cramped. And it, it helps overlap Kenta a little bit. I mean, that's going to be him. Oh, typical zebra. Oh, thanks. I'm not sure who P-Brat is. P-Bat. All right. But um, the hand should be over here. A bit. Oh, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Um, I'll have a look. See. Uh, he plays LOL. League of Legends? Cool! I got a buddy working at League of Legends. Riot? Yeah. Went to school with him. Cool guy. Talented. Amazing work. His name is Lou Bo. Lou. Lou Bo. It's my boy. Alright. He's one of the friends who who actually came to the after after gathering. It was in a party. It's the last day of school. And we all made a promise to meet together. And and because we all I remembered we everyone forgot and just did their own thing. You know, it was it was pretty exciting time, you know, when your school's ending, the last day of art school. Everyone wants to do their own thing, and I just like was packed in my bags, and everybody just dished me. Oh man, it was unintentional, but hopefully it was unintentional. But Lou Bo, luckily I had my, my my friends who weren't art students come up to the bay and come and hang out with me. We did all kinds of stuff. Lou Bo shows up afterwards at the dinner to apologize. That's my dude. Shout out to Lou Bo. LOL artist. I'll never forget that day. 
yeah, it was like, hey guys, yeah, let's let's go, let's go karaoke and and you know all this stuff. Uh, last day, yeah, let's do it. Shake hands. Everybody shakes hands. That's right. The day comes. I was alone. I was alone. That's right. I had a little hay ball roll on by. And it was at the front of the school. You guys might know it. If you guys ever go to Frisco, this is the school. This is the stairs. This is the street. It was slanted like this because we're on Frisco. And this is where I was sitting. And it was like late at night, 10 o'clock, 10.30. Waiting to see where'd everybody go? Where's everybody? Just, just walking left and right. Yeah. That's what happened. But then my buddy pulls up, Steven. Steven from JPKS. He pulls up in his crazy car rental. And he goes, Hey Jack, wanna go for a ride? I'm like, sure, Steve. He's like, hop in. And I was like, yeah. And then my girlfriend was in there too. So we all went out and then gathered some of my old close buddies from before school. And we had a blast together. Yeah. Yep, that was that was my last day of school. <laughs> Big whip. Big whip. Hey. Later Ashlyn. Good night. Sleep tight. Take care. Oh, is the poster gonna be finished? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, let's continue on. We got what, twenty minutes? Let's do this in twenty minutes. We're gonna basically flesh out the uh, the character anatomy. So lower the opacity. Um whoa 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 gonna begin just some rough shapes that's a huge head by the way oops forget the neck okay forget the neck like I said hand Arm or hand, which came first? Arm. Yes, stick stick to the thumbnail. Don't complicate things. Don't complicate things. They are gonna kung fu fight. They are going to kung fu fight. Oh, by the way, if uh, you guys if you guys have if you guys have seen the Kickstarter video, um, it will be launched tomorrow morning. We want to get a nice fresh start in the morning and have the whole day. That way, we'll have a full 30 days as opposed to half a night um, kind of deal. So don't worry.
Thanks, Clarity. Clarity, you bring me clarity. I'm sorry. You probably get that often. That's a, that's a long neck. There's a long neck. See? Yes, see how I cut the neck into the shoulders? I didn't stop here. No, sir. I'm thinking in 3D. There's, there's mass. Therefore, we stop here. The collarbones are here like that. And then this, this, this V shape here will... Uh, suggest that we are going into the collarbone and yes this head would be too long I mean the neck would be too long at that point so we can just grab it instead of drawing it again and lowering it a bit da -da. see pow <laughs> I need to go to sound effects school I'm not sure if my sound effects are appropriate. Put the hand in there. We're... Hand. 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 Yeah, hand. Cool. Oh, sound effect. Oh, oh wham. Who up? How about um <laughs> gotta start you gotta start this listen. If you're gonna rough if you're going to draw in the roughs, it is recommended to flip your drawing and then begin your roughs. Working back and forth will keep your drawing balance. And this, my friends, is a real is the secret to getting your drawing to look more professional. Um oh oh Yes, that is my lady friend. Maybe she can join the conversation. That way I don't have to type. Hey, I'm doing a show. Okay. Oh, well, pretty. You want to join the show? You know, I have my friends who do shows as well. They have their friends on the show. You have burnt caramel sauce. Uh, uh, sometimes that happens. Okay. No, no. She's shy. She's shy. She can do. She don't have to. But let's try to get this done quick. Oh, the legs! The legs! The legs aren't even in the poster. What am I doing? I'm trying to find balance. I'm trying to find balance. That's right. Because. It just because it just has to make sense all around because we got to know how she would be standing if she was in that pose I'd say something like that a little straighter on this side a little bent here to show that she's kind of leaning over Yes, we are in the rough draft stage. Okay. 
No problem. Right, head is a little bit too much forward. We can fix that. No problem there. There we go. I think that makes a little more sense. This hand, however, is a little strange. I might have to say. Yes, we're refining, catching our issues, problems that we have with the drawing. This makes a little more sense. Bow. Yes, see? I think that's a little more balanced. I do. I do. I do, I do. I spend my life with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could use a spokesperson sidekick. Oh, Ed. that's good there. What is this person doing? What are they doing? Oh, I see. We're gonna have two of those. One here like that and one here like that. I think we should have one. One. That's right, one like that. Dips. Dips. So in this stage, I will be, this is uh, facing one way. Once I got all this stuff, I would flip it and then do it the other way. Yes. Lower the head. That's okay. This one's a little awkward still. And I feel like it's because she looks sideways, but she isn't really sideways. Yes. Yes. There. A little more sense there. Why does this person look so badass? Huh? She's like, <laughs> you know, she's thinking. She's like, <laughs> that don't impress me much.
Drink some water. Kill a kill? Is that an anime? Uh, Elay, you looking for me? Sorry, I sent dislike cliches and memes. Oh, I tend to dislike cliches and memes. Um, don't ever, doesn't everyone? We want, we don't want mediocrity. We want, we don't want cliches. We want deviation and things like that. Sometimes familiar tropes can be good. It allows people to get into stories easier. Boom. Nicely said. Clarity. Very nice. Um, it's not, you know what I mean? It's like, for example, Pixar movies, you know, they're a bit, they're a bit formulaic, but each story still touches you. Um, and they're nicely done, you know what I mean? They don't have to be too, too, like, freaking, so different that people can't relate with, you know? It's like Clarity, uh, Clarity said, very nicely said, by the way. <laughs> Crossing arms get all the ladies. <laughs> or <laughs> or not. How many ladies do we have here? How many ladies do we have tonight? I mean, in the whole chat. Do you see how these simple boxes... Sometimes I can get away with a lot just by going off the uh, initial dr rough draft, as you can see. Not too many guidelines, not too many structure, not, not, not too many bones and stuff. They just kind of, kind of lends itself to the drawing. Um, and those are the happy ones. I like those, but we gotta flip it to see. Yeah, it's balanced. It's balanced. We can see it. This is the man. He's he's the guy. He's the guy. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's maybe he's Ayano. Yeah, maybe he's Ayano. Maybe Ayano. She's like. She's doing like a. We're gonna kick these dudes, but that's right. We're gonna take them. It looks like she's sitting on her head. That there's a tangent. That there is a tangent. Ew, ladies, cooties. Stay with the pillow. Hey, pillows are nice. They keep you warm. And keep your head nice and rested. I have... I have five pillows. <laughs> I bury myself in, in myself in pillows. So that when I wake up, I'm like clawing my way out of the pillows. Oh, where, oh, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> Every morning. Um, I don't know about this. I don't know about this pose. I was thinking about having her like fly down, kind of. And you sound like like likes potato chips.
She's too alarmed. She's too alarmed today. She's like lightsaber. Way, way, way bigger than I had intended. Uh, screwing up the composition, ruining everything. Let's just focus. God, we can get this done so much faster if we just focus. Confidence. That's right, I drew through the other character. That will help. Will help with just getting over the fact that the character is there, you know, trying to draw around it. It's like, ah, oh. and her feet is right here. <laughs> you know. That's what, that's, what end, that's what ends. I don't know what I'm trying to say. That ends up what's happening, Hand, hands up, hands up, ends. Ends happening what? That what ends up happening. Ah. <laughs> That's what ends. Damn, never mind. We got a bent, bent knees. Bent knees, ready for action. That's what that conveys. Bent knees. Oh dear. Oh, and then and then and then this person is up here. It's like, don't worry. I'm here for you. I'm here. The making of a poster. So this here is the, um, the part where, well, she's going to be standing on something. Yes, that is why she's so high up and why they're so similar relative in size. Yeah. Oh. Oops. See that? Her head. Straight up and down. No, no. No, no. Still looks kind of strange. I'm having trouble here. My computer's slowing down. We got a lot done. See, paper hands. We're drawing hands simple, just paper hands, man. Paper hands. Paper hands. Easy. Easy peas. Thumb, paper hands. Knees slightly lower than the other knee. Flame on, I think, could be maybe. So here's the trick. Here's a trick, okay? I'm not measuring like this person looks like a zombie. Just remove them legs. Alright, those legs are not there. Don't worry about them. Um So the whole cylinder thing. Remember the cylinder thing? I know I covered it in one of my videos.
All right, so underneath we have a nice spherical shape. Curve. Sorry about the lag. Curve on the top. Oh no, wait, no, sorry. Straight, straight. And as you're coming up, you gotta, okay, start over here. Less curve, a slight curve. And then straight, okay? And then we have a straight headline. I can't draw lines right now because it's slow. But, um, that's generally what's going on right now. With these figures. Giraffe head here. So my point was, the higher you get, the more neck you can see. We're straight on. Or I think here, this would be kind of our uh, vanishing point. I mean, vanishing horizon line. And a good placement for horizon lines is really... Is... If you're having trouble figuring out where you want the horizon lines, um, rule of thirds is a pretty good way to go about it. Third way down, third way up. Centered is, you know what I mean? If it's slightly off the center is what I'm saying. Usually. And you become the creator of your, your drawing. One more character. One uh, more character. So the standard for the character, I mean for the entire perspective, is this person. We would be this about this height. We're standing up here and we're looking. And they're a little bit, everyone's a little bit lower than us. Below us. Everyone's a little bit more below us. This neck should be a little lower here. Does that make sense? The head overlaps the shoulder. And this one too. Unless you're like looking semi up. This person here is cheating, by the way. Yes, that's a cheater. I'm not going to let that person cheat. Just a slight little turn there will help, lowering the neck just a slight bit. There, so it's not so straight on. So we've decided this can be more straight on. <laughs> What's going on? A uh, beautiful Yuna got side pillow. Did you not like cut looks? Okay, hold on a second. You sound and you sound good. Well, thank you. I'm just talking. <laughs> um, did you not like Kaito's post for that? Oh, she has a tail. English. Which is the best idea? Taking time with commissions or getting everyone's time quickly with consistency? My phone started this to start, so so I'm in the past. Oh. <laughs> Technically, we're always in the past. Well, this is a sausage fest. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, I enjoy your comments so much. Say it later. Take care, buddy. <laughs> My whole life. Also, okay. Um, first question. Um, commissions, getting everyone's done quick in consistency, or taking time with commission. Okay, I I think it, it depends on the person, and for me, I have a I have a habit of getting things done. Sorry, taking my time. Really, regardless of how much I get paid, I I, I will take more time than I should. 
just because the art represents you in the end, you know? I mean, if it's a more simpler, more graphic style, um, I will try to make it a lot faster and stuff, but I would always push that style to the best of, of its potential. Yeah, the best of its potential. Um, getting things quickly has not always been... I, I consider myself pretty fast in drawing. It's one of my... Um, one of my little skills or perks that I I developed um, is speed because I I initially I did 2D animation as my major um, so I didn't focus much on detail but it didn't translate into work really because work I still I still didn't want to rush things um, and and I don't like to do crappy work, you know. But speed not ne doesn't necessarily mean crappy, you know. Finding efficiency uh, is not it's not at all crappy. No, no. That's why some of the best comic artists are so fast. They get paid a lot of money. But their their speed they are they are they are insane. And they find techniques and ways. Um, both Western and Eastern comics techniques for getting more so more so um, Eastern. I'm gonna say it straight up, straight up techniques for keeping drawings fast and efficient. Uh, like the eyes, for example, or the two two shade two cell shading technique. Um, less about the actual uh, drawing, even though it is it is a very important element. Story composition comes first, and everything else is secondary. Hope that made sense. Western comics, which I also enjoy. I just picked up one of the uh, latest Avengers comics. Awesome artwork. Amazing. Amazing. But it was done by like three or four different artists. And that's, um, I guess, is a streamlined production, which is, which they've made very efficient. But um, in a lot of, uh, Eastern manga and stuff like that. They one one artist runs the show, and maybe one one intern who helps with cleanup and all kinds of stuff. But really, it's all in the hands of one guy. But they they're they're masters in, of of, of uh, shortcuts because their their comics can go on for days, <laughs> days. You know what I'm talking about. They extend so long, so far. One guy. What can you expect? What do you expect? And then the uh, the turnaround dates are what really what really pushes them. Um, if they're working for a company or whatever, they're. I forgot what it was. I think it's like three pages a week. Shoot! Three pages a week! I heard a statistic somewhere where Western Comics is like... I don't know. One page? Two pages a month? I don't know. I don't know what it was, but... I think that was for an artist. A specific artist. Because the detail and... Whatever. They both have their own um, positive sides and upsides and downsides and all sides. This 
not working. They're look looking a little too balanced. Looking a little too balanced. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Is that, is that the answer? Might very well be. Yes, I think so. That shall be the answer. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Maybe we should be going a little bit bigger. Counterbalance the uh, the one on the left. Pulling her back a little bit. Not too far. It's gonna look too uh, too balanced. This person's a little centered. A little too centered. Which looks cool, but I want equal distribution of weight. That looks like the person's like a. I don't know. Offsetting it. Offset. Setting up. Off. Set. Set. Set off. Offset. Yes. Offset the uh, character a little bit. Not so centered. Up here. Maybe higher, lower, further back. Yeah. No. It's competing a little bit with this character here. Um, competing a lot with this character. They look like the same thing that's going on. But I can fix that. I think this one would be more straight on headed, like this. Or this one's more sideways, like this. Um, change the hand a little bit, going this way. Kind of reaching back a little bit. Like, oh dear. Are we going to get out of this alive? Yeah, um, Takeshi Awata. I'm not sure who that is. There's so many artists. Too many. This, this here. And I'll get this dude out of here. Um, it's a big gap. I think that they're, they're okay, they're fine. Let's flip it.
Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying by and keeping me company. It's been a good two hours, two and a half hours. And I hope you guys learned something. Learned something. Um, but we're coming to an end. Yes, we are. Because this show is kind of going on for a while. And we got most of the stuff down. And it's going to be smooth selling from here. Once you get all your... Once you get your composition down. Smooth selling. Oh! What the heck? How did I do that? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring the character back into the center. Just don't see any other way around it. That's fine. Yeah, why not? A little bit lower, a little bit higher. Still trying to find that balance. This lag here is not helping at all. Shrinking the head so it's less competing with this one here. Takeshi. All right, so we've set up our gr the groundwork that we need. For the uh no her arm she's standing on her hand. Both their hands. <laughs> what do you know? Tangent. But he don't care. He doesn't care. He's like, hmm. <laughs> Stand where I want. <laughs> yeah. And I think I think that'll be our poster. That'll be it. Yeah? And it's gonna be great. Hopefully. With your help, sure. I just gotta figure out who's gonna be who later on.
This person back here looks a little confused. Like, what? I don't want that. I feel like this is taking much longer than it should have. There's much lag in the lines. Watch, move, 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 lift up, and it's slight, yeah, there's that slight lag, but it's okay. Yep, um, that's it, that's it for the night. I think we got it. Pull out a little bit. Looks balanced. Um, we'll add some background debris. And oh yes. Maybe the horizon line isn't up there. Maybe that's just sky. Take that sun out. Yeah. I think that might work a little bit better. Nope, I like that. Breaking of silhouettes. 